Welcome back to my channel, Winter Motors. My name is Sean Winter, your friendly neighborhood outlaw. And in this episode, I'm gonna make the bike redeem itself. We're heading out a little later today, but it was a little spontaneous, to a waterfall park, waterfall place, about two hours away from here. Then we're gonna explore some nice areas, nice roads, and make it back here. I missed my baby yesterday. I'm not gonna make the mistake of jumping in the car again. Fuck that. so good to be out on the bike just five minutes after I sat on the bike and drove out of the property I was just oh man yeah after sitting in the car all day yesterday but man it is beautiful and it, the scenery is even more beautiful on a motorcycle because you get more view than in the back of a car so we are gonna pass through Hadangir Vida just a little bit of it because it's a national park and you can't drive through on a true well you can't drive through Hadangavida National Park. Some national parks you can drive through but not Hadangavida. But we're gonna pass through just a tiny bit of it, which I I am expecting to be very spectacular and very beautiful. And we started climbing now. We've been climbing for a few minutes. It probably won't stop for a little while until we hit the top of the mountain. It's already cold down at the bottom of the mountain. It's gonna get colder up top. Yesterday we went over Hudling Skadeve National Park and it was like seven degrees, sideways wind and on and off rain. So yeah, I mean yesterday because of that I was kind of happy I was in the car, but at the same time not. But this time if that happens I'm just gonna endure it because I wanna experience that kind of scenery on my motorcycle that's why i came here and that's what i'm gonna do oh shit look snow on the mountains <laughs> just a reminder to everyone who's watching it's august <laughs> and it's well, i'm cold there's snow on the mountains and uh, yeah but uh, that's norway for you oh man Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! I got so distracted, we should have stopped there. I got so distracted by the view. <laughs> Holy snap. And the thing is, you can see where we are now. We must be... I'm guessing we're sitting around 1,000 to 200 to 300 meters above sea level. Uh, because we are close to the tree line. You can see in front of us, there's no trees growing. Because over a certain level of meters over the sea level, there is not enough oxygen for trees to grow. Now we are at Hadangirvida. There's the sign right there. But we could see it, that was what we saw. We're on the other side of that big lake now. But now we are actually in Hadangirvida. I think we need to stop and take this all in for a minute. Hardangirvida. I've never been here. Why have I never been here? I never had a motorcycle here. That's why I've never been here. Sometimes you just need to stop to smell the roses. Or the Hardangirvida in this case. This is exactly what I wanted to do on the bike. And we're far over the tree line now. As you can see, there's no trees growing, which means we're over the tree line, oxygen's low, but the beauty level is high. As we drove deeper into Ardangirvida, the temperatures dropped drastically. 
but the spectacular surroundings were so distracting that we did not even realize how cold it was before we stopped at this souvenir shop in the middle of nowhere. Actually, it's technically in the middle of Avangrida, but you get the point. I believe it's uh, either run by the Sami people, we were a little bit too far south for them, or it's just inspired by the Sami people. Nonetheless, let's check it out. Souvenir shop, what did we get? <laughs> Mara got a sausage. <laughs> yeah, and, that, and that's it. That's what we got. <laughs> so we move on. Those clouds do not look nice. Vida was absolutely beautiful. I'm happy we're starting to descend down from the mountain once again to a little bit, a little bit warmer weather, but not much. You can tell that we're descending by the reappearing trees and this gate here being the entrance to the Vida itself. Because in winter time, the weather is a little different and sometimes they have to close it so you can't drive over it because of the amounts of snow that come here in winter. We see these markers on the road. That's how high the snow gets. The markers are there so the plow trucks can see where they're going so they can find the road. And these markers stick out of the snow in winter. That's how high the snow gets here. But we should be closing in on our destination for today. And I'm uh, looking forward to seeing it. And then we have to return the way we came across Adangavida once again. <laughs> Perfect! We're here at Vöringfossen and if you're a cheeky cunt like me you even find roof over yourself when you're parking for your motor cackle. Okay, it's very misty magical but let's hope we can see the waterfall I think we will we made it to our destination, Vöringsfossen. And it's very cloudy now, but I can hear the waterfall. I hope I didn't drive all this way just to listen to a waterfall. Uh, we'll wait for the clouds to clear up so we can see it. Whoa! Whoa! Damn! Holy crap! Whoa! Damn, that was unexpected! <laughs> wow! I don't even... Just... Whoa! Is this what you expected it to be like? No, this is better. Like, I, I don't know. I just expected like it to, to come from over there or something. But this is like, this is so pretty. Look over there as well. I know. We have to go down there. You cannot go. This is crazy. This is so absolutely cool. crazy. This is a tourist destination. Suggest everybody go into if you're in Norway. It didn't cost us a penny getting to this point. Only petrol, but obviously. But to see this. Wow, this is Norway.
Vøringsfossen is one of the most famous waterfalls in Norway and drops 182 meters from the edge of Hardangerida to the valley of Morbø Dalen. Until 1821 the waterfall was hardly known by anyone but the local population, but since the 19th century Vøringsfossen has attracted tourists from around the world. I must say though that my camera does not make justice of this place and if you want to see it you just have to go there by yourself and trust me, your mind will be blown. Vøringfossen, is it a worth the place to come? It is so worth it. <laughs> so worth it. And you know if Mara says it's worth it, then it is fucking worth it. Alright, time to leave this beautiful place. But before we return... We have to go get petrol because I can't get across Hardangervida with what I have in the tank. Which means we have to go further down the valley. That ain't that bad. Okay. Nearly empty. Bye beautiful place. Bye. We will probably be back one day. Finally, petrol. I mean, a hell of a spectacular way to get to the petrol, but uh, when this tank is full, it's time to head back to the house. All right, time to head home. Not to Germany, not yet. And we made it back home, frozen but happy that we went to Vøringfossen. That was an amazing destination, really cool trip over Hardangervida, even though, god damn, it was cold. Every part of it was worth it. But we're back home now, got the fire lit, and it's time to have a beer. Someone said to me that I have to try a local beer, so I'm trying this one. This is a craft beer from the local area. It's called Gött den Mörke, which means the dark one. And it's a dark ale, just like I like it. Skål for fan. In true Shaytri Surgeon spirit, I will say that this is delicious. Gonna enjoy this beer in front of the fire. And while I do, I want to thank you for watching another video here at Winter Motors. My name is Sean Winter, your friendly neighborhood outlaw. And until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Bye-bye.